Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for clicking on WDTV.com. It's Thursday, April 11th. I'm Kristen Keeling. Here's your top stories we've been following here on 5 News. Well, it's been more than 24 hours since an inmate managed to escape from the federal prison in Morgantown, and authorities are still trying to find him, but this isn't the first time he's led police on this kind of a chase. 42-year-old Eugene Cobbs walked away from the prison sometime yesterday afternoon. His name should sound familiar because he gained national attention when he crashed a plane loaded with hundreds of pounds of drugs in Wheeling. After that happened, authorities spent four years searching for Cobbs before they finally snatched him up in Mexico. You can see a picture of him right now, but investigators told us he also has a few unique tattoos, including one of a tiger on his upper right arm. If you know where he may be, call the U.S. Marshal Service. Their number is 623-0486. An early morning blaze destroyed a Clarksburg home, but luckily the homeowner was able to get out all right. Firefighters said this all happened around 4.15 on Thursday morning. A man was sleeping inside his Watkins Lane home when he woke up and smelled smoke. Again, he got out okay, but his cats did not. Some nearby power lines were knocked down. The Clarksburg fire inspector ruled the cause undetermined because of the amount of damage, but he said it doesn't look suspicious. Close to 15 grand is still on the table for anyone who has information on what caused a brand new home in Mon County to go up in flames. That fire broke out around 2.30 on Saturday morning at a home in the Shiloh subdivision. This is off of Cheat Road. The state fire marshal's office has labeled it suspicious. Now the contractor is offering up 10,000 bucks for the arrest and conviction of anyone who could have set that fire. The state fire marshal's office is also pitching in five grand. If you know anything, call the arson tip line. The number is 1-800-233-3473. Federal regulators say failings in roof support and training were the reasons why a miner was killed last September at Consol's Blacksville No. 2 mine. A report by the Mine Safety and Health Administration says additional support should have been installed before William Mock began removing the roof's primary support in a section of the mine. Mock died after a rock weighing more than two tons fell on top of him. The report says Consol failed to provide training about safety procedures for removing permanent roof support and roof conditions weren't examined before the support was removed. Consol was cited for several violations. Now MSHA says the company has taken corrective measures. In Mon County, a newly elected commissioner has filed a lawsuit against the County Board of Education and hopes something will change so he can attend commission meetings. Tom Bloom was just elected as commissioner last November. In that election, he beat out former school board member Joe Stotler. Bloom works as a guidance counselor but claims the board won't let him use a policy called flex time to attend those commission meetings. This has been an issue since he first announced his intentions to run as a commissioner in 2011. A hearing on the matter is scheduled for next month. Actually, it's made every 10 seconds in our nation. That's why a group of people in Upshur County are trying to bring awareness of the problem throughout April. The group presented several proclamations of the at the county commission on Thursday morning, recognizing April as Child Abuse Prevention and Awareness Month. A flag was also raised to honor victims of child abuse. It will fly outside of the courthouse all month long. So many of us go along with our lives and we just don't think about our children that aren't as happy and healthy as, as they could be. And it's our job to uh, do everything we can to make a happier and healthier life. Thacker said she hopes this reminds everyone in the community to step up and help a child in need. Let's take a peek at what our newsroom is working on for you for Fox 10 at 10 and 5 News at 11. First up, we have some updates about what's going on with your Saturday deliveries. And secondly, that inmate is still on the loose. We'll bring you the latest details on that. So that's what's making headlines this evening. Be sure to tune in for Fox 10 at 10 and 5 News at 11. Until then, have a good night.